Let's have a look at how to do this first question in the genetic cross worksheet. So the first question, we, we just simplifying the process, just doing the Punnett square, no F1, P1, meiosis, fertilization, etc. So the clue or key they've given you here is tall plants is a big D, dwarf plants is a small D. That is the, those are the alleles for height. Purple flowers, a big W, white flowers, small W. So already there I'm seeing that white flowers are recessive and that the dwarf plants is also recessive. The other two are the dominant traits. So the one parent that we have here is homozygous dominant. So it's going to have homozygous dominant alleles, so big D and big W, homozygous, same alleles, for both traits, for tallness and for flower color. And the other one is homozygous recessive. So it's going to have two small Ds and two small Ws. So because we're just doing Punnett squares, we need to figure out the gametes. Now, the first example is easy. You always take the first letter. Big D can go with a big W. So then it's going to be DW. Or it can go with the other allele for uh, purple flowers. Then the other options would be that D, the, that allele for tallness going with the first allele for purple flowers. And that's a big D, big W. And the last one is exactly the same. So it's the same principle for this one. The small D can go with a small W. So it could be DW or the other DW. And the, all of those are going to be DW because those are the only options of combinations of the alleles. So now we're just going to fill in here the alleles for one parent, the homozygous dominant one at the top of the Punnett square. Homozygous recessive on the side of the Punnett square. And that means all of the offspring are going to be heterozygous for both traits. So what I normally do is I go fill in all the big Ds. All of these will have a big D from these gametes. But actually every single gamete is going to have a big D in it. Then I fill in the small D that they all get from this gamete on the left from the other parent. So all of them are going to be heterozygous for height. Then to complete it, they all get a capital W from the one parent and they will all get a small W from the other parent. Please make sure to make your big W and small W look different. So as you can see, all of these gametes can give a small D and a small W and all of these can give a big D and a big W. So the offspring are going to be completely heterozygous for both traits. So if they've all got a big D, and they've all got a big W, if we go look at our key again, you will see that the big D makes all of the plants tall. It's got the dominant trait. And this big W makes all of the plants have purple flowers. And now you just use your Punnett square to answer the question. What are the probability of producing tall plants with purple flowers? That is 100%. Because all of these individuals have a big D and a big W in it. What is the probability of producing a dwarf plant with white flowers? Zero. There are none. What is the probability of producing a tall plant with white flowers? Zero percent. And the probability of producing a dwarf plant with purple flowers? Again, zero percent. So what you're going to do now is continue on to question three. You've got more information here. Black fur is dominant. White fur is recessive. And rough fur is dominant. And smooth fur is recessive. So it's just identifying the dominance. Now, what you're gonna do is you can make a Punnett square on your laptop like this, a four by four table, and just label your document correctly. But just to show you a reminder to do the genotype making gametes of a slightly more complex example, that B can be in a gamete with a big R. So you can have big B, big R, one of each letter. Or when gametes form, the gamete could have a big B and a small r. Those are the options. Or if a, big, if a small b goes into the gamete, it can either be paired with a big R or it can be paired with a small r. So I always choose the one letter and pair it with the opposite letter. So you always have one B and one R. Like in the previous example, one D, one W. And those are the gamete options that you are going to put, I'm copying them down very carefully across, big B, small r, small b, big r, and then small b, small r. And it's actually going to be the same for this other parent. But you are now going to work on the next couple of questions.